Hello there, you once more welcome to the Glory Realm, the Virgin Moment. It's a beautiful day, a wonderful opportunity to love God, serve Him with all our heart. When we have such opportunity, we must make the most of it. I want to encourage you to step out today looking for some opportunity to let the world know that you're not ashamed to identify with Jesus. And you see, the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Be the reason why somebody will love God today. And by virtue of what you do, let somebody's life be transformed, at least, you know, invited to Jesus. Be the reason why somebody is saved today. We love the Lord and that's the reason why we spend time studying His Word. And today we're looking at Colossians chapter number 3. Yesterday we were looking at, you know, verse number 6. And he was talking about something very important. Actually, verse number 5. He says, So kill, deaden, deprive of power, the evil desire lurking in your members. There's this evil desire lurking in our members. Those animal impulses and all that is earthly in you that is employed in sin. They are employed, they are used to be able to manifest your sinful tendencies. Then he went on to say, what those things are, sexual vices, sexual vice, impurity, sensual appetites, unholy desires, and all greed and covetousness, for that is idolatry. That covetousness is idolatry. So what does that mean? Somebody has something and you desire it. You desire it so much that you became obsessed, obsessed with it. It's a form of idolatry. Can you imagine that the Bible calls it a form of idolatry? The define, observe, and order created things instead of God. So you, I mean the deifying of self, sorry, the deifying of self. And order created things instead of God. In other words, you have such a great obsession for it that you fail to focus on God that they got your attention much more. You see, some people just to get a, a, a pair of shoes can be so obsessed in actually, I mean, they can do everything to get a pair of shoes. Some ladies have given themselves up because, I mean, they, they defy themselves because they love certain fashion, whatever, and so they went at all length to be able to get the money to afford it or somebody that will promise them to get it. And that's very, very unfortunate. And then in verse number six, it says, it is on account of these very sins that the holy anger of God is ever coming upon the sins of disobedience. Upon, because of these things, the holy of anger of God is coming on the sins on this, of disobedience. Now, look at this. This is very serious. We must be careful what we allow in our lives. We must be careful. Walking in sexual immorality is a sin of disobedience. It is not just whether you like the guy or not. No, it's a sin of disobedience. God said we should have our bodies free from sin. And one of such sins is sexual immorality. Having sexual advances or intercourse with somebody who is not your wife or husband. Right? And then he went on to... Now, I know this is offensive in the day and time we are living in, but it doesn't take it away from the Bible. It's still in the Word of God. It is on account of these very sins that the holy anger of God is ever coming upon the sons of disobedience. Those who are obstinately opposed to the divine will. They are obstinately opposed to the divine will. They refuse to follow the divine will. They, and it's on purpose. Nobody you know, Now, they want to make it light and say, it's my choice. Everybody has the right to live as how they want. They are old enough. They are adults from 18. When scientists say your brain is not matured until you're 30, so how come you are matured at 18 in making serious decisions that has to do that many of the time leads to unwanted pregnancy and then they now start fighting for rights to, <laughs> to abort? You see, the thing just get, keep getting worse and worse. We must 
choose to follow the way of God. Anything other than the way of God is disobedience. And the Bible says it is attracting the anger of God. And countries and places where all of these things are seen as, you know, one of those things that's like human rights, you know, they call it human rights. Women's rights is human right. Be careful. You may be incurring the wrath of God, you know. I'm just telling, I'm just telling you what the scripture says. That's what I believe in. Say, among whom you also once walked when you were living in and addicted to such practices. Every one of us were once like that. When we were unbelievers, when we had not known Jesus, we lived as we wanted. But when you come to know him, there must be a difference. There must be some transformation that is taking place. The passions of your heart cannot remain the same. There must be a change. When we make him the Lord and Savior of our lives, our lives are never the same again. Why don't you ask Jesus to forgive you your sin? Acknowledge that you have sinned and ask him to forgive you your sin. Take away the sin from your life and ask that his blood will wash you clean from every sin and that he gives you his new, I mean the Holy Spirit, the new nature and your life will never be the same again. Thank you for being part of today's broadcast. It's a great joy sharing God's word with you. I look forward to sharing it with you tomorrow and many days to come. Till I see you again, I'm Ego Louis Yegwe God bless you. Thank you.